One of the things I do every summer is make elderflower champagne and we'll certainly be making more this year. But what I'm going to do with elderflowers this time is also use it to make some elderflower cordial. This is elderflower champagne that we're making and the point about elderflowers is that they are covered in a natural yeast and that's used to ferment the elderflower champagne and this will go into bottles in a few days time and it will ferment in the bottles. The last thing we want to happen is for the yeast in our elderflower to cause the cordial to ferment so we need to kill off the yeast and we're going to show you just how to do that. Into a pan put one and a half litres of cold water and start to heat it up and as you do add in two kilos of sugar and stir it until it's all dissolved. Into a large bowl put a big bag full of elderflowers, shake them out beforehand to get rid of any insects, plus the zest and juice of three large lemons. Once the sugar syrup has reached boiling point, you then need to pour it onto the elderflower. Once you've immersed all the elderflower and lemon in the boiling syrup, add in 50 grams of citric acid crystals and then give it a good stir and then cover it over for a couple of days with a tea towel. Uh, give it a stir once a day. Well, this is what it's like after standing for a day or so and it's already got a lovely elderflower aroma to it but it is quite a thick syrup but this is now ready to be strained and we're going to use our jelly bag that we use in jam making to do that. Well, once you've strained it you just need to get it into a bottle. Well, here's a couple of the bottles I've just made. To store it, just put it in a cool cupboard. Use it within two or three months. Uh, to actually use it, you need to just put a shot of it in a glass and then dilute it to taste. Mmm, absolutely lovely. Oh, great British summer drink. All we need is a summer. <laughs>